So let's take a look at editing our panels. If we go to Edit Preferences and go to Layout 1 and go to Arrange Panels, it will bring up our Panels Configuration window. We can also go to the main menu button and click on Arrange Panels that will also bring up this window. We looked at this in previous videos, but now let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail. So right here, we have all the sections of Music B, such as the header bar, the top panel, the left side bar, the left main panel, the main panel, right main panel, right side bar, and bottom panel. In each of these areas, we have various bits of information. For example, in the header bar, we have the main menu where we can choose how we want the main menu to display. We've seen this option before where we can show the menu as a button, as a caption bar or below the caption bar, the tab bar, which brings up our layout one preferences, which we looked at in the last video. But we also have options for our main panel such as the AZ bar, which is up here. We can choose that to be horizontal or vertical. Hit apply. And we see that it's on this side here. Go back to horizontal. We can choose to display the column browser vertically or stacked, as we can see here. Or side by side, like this. We can set a background image for the main panel. For the right sidebar over here, we can choose how to display the playlist tracks, such as displaying this track only, or album and track information. We can customize the layout. So we can really go into detail about just everything, display information in these sidebars and in these panels. We can show web links such as Wikipedia, show file URL, track rating. Under the bottom panel, we have additional options for displaying buttons for open and close. We can show summary statistics. We don't want to see that. We'll have that information hidden. The main player for auto picking colors, we can uncheck that. We'll have to restart. I don't want to restart, so I'll recheck that again. Custom font for the main player. Show album cover, which will display here. We'll go back to this. So as you can see, there are tons and tons of options. So even we can modify the, the progress bar. For example, we can make it a wave bar. We can make it a progress bar above the controls. We can do a progress bar in the middle. Progress bar at the bottom. I'll choose in the middle. We can enlarge the height of the progress bar. Hit save. And again, over here we can add these items. For example, thumbnail browser. And notice when we click and drag one of these elements, everything that has a red bar underneath it, we can place these elements there. For example, the sidebar player. I'm going to place it in the right sidebar, hit apply, and notice we have another little player here with basic controls and information about the song. We can choose to add, say, a biography. Maybe I want that in the, at the left sidebar, hit apply, and an artist biography will be displayed. We bring it up. 
and we see information about the artist. Or we can scroll through. Let's go back to arranging our panels. We have a thumbnail browser which we can place maybe in the left main panel. Hit apply. And we see a thumbnail browser. We don't want that. We can take it off. Visualize a spectrum. Maybe we want that here in the main player. And we'll see when we click on a song or play a song. Let me save this. We'll see the wave bar. Here we can decide what to display as far as our sidebars, panels. What if we don't want the left sidebar? We can choose to hide it and it goes away. We can hide the right sidebar, the column browser, and all of those go away. So we just have a list of songs. I'll bring everything back up and we're good to go. Now I don't need this artist biography there, so I'll remove that and hit apply. And when you're done editing your panels, you like the way your player looks, go ahead and hit apply, hit save. When you have the layout you like, what you can also do is go to view, import, export, and you can actually export your panels arrangement. This is good if you want to reinstall Music B and you don't remember how you configured your panels so that you can export your panel arrangement. I already have one here. I'll call this one panels two or panels original. Now I already have a panels layout that I have from my main system and I'm going to import that. When you export your panels, it also saves the skin that you use. So when I go ahead and I'll go to view import, I'm going to import my layout that I use on my main system. It's going to restart the player and it's going to load up my panels arrangement as well as the skin that I like to use. So in this case, I am using the Midnight Metro skin. And this is my panels arrangement. Notice in my notice in my layout, I also have the little mini player here. And this layout is basically pretty similar to what I just had, but I'm using the darker skin. And so that's a look at editing panels, exporting your panels, and importing panels. On my GitHub page, I have a repository for Music B panels and codecs. These codecs allow us for additional file conversions. But the most important thing here is the panels file. I have provided the default layout for Music B as well as a version of my layout with the light and dark theme. So if you like the way my Music B is laid out, you can choose to download it from my GitHub page. And in case you mess up your panels layout and you want to go back to the default, I have the default layout provided there. I have links in the description below. In the next video, we'll be looking at adjusting these fields to better display information about our songs.